Hello, I'd like to tell you the story of the giant and the cobbler. Giants are ancient beings and like us sometimes they get angry. These are not the same giants that B5 ruled from in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. No one quite knew what the mayor of Shrewsbury had done to get the giant so angry, but it most certainly did. This particular giant wasn't known for his good temper. When he got annoyed, everybody with a shred of sense would hide away and let him cool down. Much like me. This time he was so mad that his Welsh neighbours thought he would never be calm again. You could hear his growl everywhere, his feet stomping, he would often jump up and down in fury, making the earth shake. They were very, very relieved when he stomped off across the border, heading towards Shrewsbury, or so he thought, um, with his gigantic gold, sh gold spade heaved over his good shoulder, full of gold, full of good Welsh earth. What was the giant going to do? Well, he aimed to dump his load of mud into the River Severn, damming it up and flooding Shrewsbury, drowning all the townspeople. The giant was so angry, he simply couldn't see straight. He wanted them to realise how important he was, how much better and bigger than them that he was. How much smarter he was than them. He was so angry he walked straight past Shrewsbury here to North Wales to Clandidno. By the time he got here along the coast he was exhausted. He put down his spade of earth, scraped the mud from his boots and he started to look around for somewhere to sit and for someone to guide him on his way back home. A wise cobbler whose shop is in Flint and you can see it from the train as you go to Chester. He had a bag full of shoes and he had to mend them when he met the giant. The giant told the cobbler of his quest and asked directions. Directions back to Shrewsbury. The cobbler knew of his troubles and he knew of the townspeople. He didn't value them, but he valued them many. He took his own boot off and showed the giant a hole in his, the sole of his shoe. I've worn this shoe out, walking here myself. Stones here are soft and worn down by the sea and it is a constant companion to my journey. I will fix yours, and you will no longer be angry. The giant said, Thank you. Can you help me get home? The cobbler fixed his shoes and gave him directions. The giant was no longer angry, and found himself smiling at how easily he'd been calmed down. He regretted the thought that he would have harmed anyone. He left behind him a gift. The giant took a deep, defeated sigh of relief. He turned on his heels and set off home. His view a beauty he would never forget. Full of adventures and he was a very kind giant. He'd like to thank that cobbler. And thanks to him, no stones in his shoe. What did he leave behind him? Well, that spade of earth is the great orm, and his boot scrapings, Gwynesca and Prostatin. One giant step for man, one giant leap. Thank you. I have found The Giant and the Cobbler to be a memorable story. I first told it as part of a collection at the Storytelling Museum in Shrewsbury as part of the Montgomery Folk Tales 
The story spoke to me. As its overriding message was a memorable one of overcoming adversity and was important for boosting morale at our current time. And I loved how a stranger could have such a positive effect on our 